What's happening folks and welcome to a brand new let's play called obviously rebuilding Juventus before we get into get started if you're excited for this series hit that like button down below and subscribe for FM content on this channel and down below is also my let's play channel as well go check that out as well which at the moment has got Jedi Survivor on there so yes rebuilding Juventus uh, a save I've always wanted to do on YouTube I think I started once before back in the, the year didn't finish it this year I'm determined to do it uh, the main aim, of course, is to restore Juventus to the top of Serie A and Italian football after a rough couple of years and obviously financial issues going on as well. Uh, and, and also, we're going to be trying to get the first Champions League win from, I think, since 1996. And that will be the ultimate aim of the series. Obviously, we can obviously adjust this if we feel there's a need to do so. But this is, this is leading to the idea of doing say that I want to do. So in case you're new to the channel, we usually do an introduction episode where I look at the squad, the finances, get, get a tactic set that I want to use, look at some young players and all that kind of stuff, and then go from there. Also gives you guys a chance to give your thoughts down below in the comment section on what I should be doing, if anything, um, to, you know, sign this player, sell that player, loan that player in, loan that player out, all that kind of stuff. So in, in as long as it is, there's no time to scale on this episode. Also, there's no schedule on this series. It'll be I record when I can and when I'm feeling like I can get the best quality I can and I'll upload when I f the schedule I feel like. I would like to make this daily series, but with work being a priority, with hours might be going up and all that stuff obviously going on, I don't want to rush the content. So let's go. Let's get into it. So as you can see here, oh, straight away we've got a four, uh, four and a half of reputation. My media prediction is to be finishing first. We've got to a football called Federico Cherbuni, who looks okay. I don't think we're going to change that massively. I don't think we need to change that really. Um, so you see here, Champions League, the last time they won it was in 96. Only won it twice, which is really, really you know, surprising given how big events are. But United, United have won, won it three times as well. So uh, both teams could have could, could, and I could, could have won it more. They've won the Serie A title, however, many times. Last of course in 2020, when they won. How many in a row they won? They won. How many did they win in a row? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in a row. Is it? Twelve, thirteen. Yeah, nine in a row, and then that one's won since. Uh, but I, I, I obviously famously got relegated uh, at one point due to financial issues, and obviously financial issues are still dominate are dominating the club. At this point, moment in time as well. So, um, they reckon we should play that formation. I can tell you right now, we are not playing that formation. Uh, that is not going to happen at all. Um, so, let's look at the club culture and what they expect from us, from the fans and the board. So, same players under 23 for the first team preferred. Uh, work within budget required makes sense. Grow the club reputation favoured. Inf informational objectives is all preferred and favoured. So, minimum your contracts for players over the age of 32 Ma max maximum two-year contracts with players over the age of 30 which is interesting uh, maximum three-year contracts with players over 28 and minimum four-year contracts with first team players which is interesting um so this year they wanted to challenge for the title they wanted to challenge for the Coppa Italia Fanta which Fanta got a look Fanta haven't you and reach last stage of the Champions League again depends on the draw so this is the, the that's the you know in the current season, and obviously the win Serie A, this will all change, of course, um, depending on how how we do. So interesting there. So the the, the, the uh, supporter culture, club vision, and expectations. Sign how how reputation players favoured. Sign Italian players favoured, and then the supporters' expectations are the ones where you got to really just kind of disregard them because not disregard them, but like they always are like very unique ones. Win Serie A required. Maintain the club status most reputable club in Italy required. Become the most reputable team in the world favored. Um, finish with Inter. Finish with Napoli and finish with Roma. If we do all those three things, we'll probably win the league. Uh, Ace Milan is the one dark horse in there that's not mentioned in that list. But you, you finish with Inter and Napoli and Roma, you'd be very you'd be very annoyed if you don't win the league, won't you? You you you'd lose be second at least if you finish with, with with those three. So we're going to just do a press conference. We're not going to do a in squad friendly, and we'll get that every other fortnight. And I've already pre-saved the game, so we're going straight into this here. So, so yeah, as you can see, the points deduction is not on now. Obviously, there's been a lot of ums and uh, ums and ahs about this. Uh, the debate, the debate, the database was originally didn't have an in, then they updated it. I'm using the default database. 
reason being is because people say to me, well, use a summary database. I could. The problem is people say, oh, that's not the summary database. It's out of date. And it's just, it creates an old thing in the comment section. So I want to use the database. Also, it gives you guys reference to kind of um, give me your thoughts on the on transfers because obviously you know how the database is. Because if, if I did, if I, if I use a, a summary database now, it'd be out of date by the time video goes out because the database I use is updated quite regularly. So to cut all that kind of Messing around, messing around out. I've just gone with the default database, not the original one. It's the summer January, the January database that they brought out. So that's why no points deduction is in is in there. Also, guys, link to the description will be found. Link to link in the description will be will be the um, skin I use. So yeah, so that's that. So tactical. Uh, I've got a tactic saved, which I'm probably going to use. Um, it's probably going to be this one. Um, not entirely sure it'll work um but we're gonna go with that for now and see how it works and see if it works which obviously we have to you gotta play games to see if it will actually um play out like i want it to so we're going to accept that vision we can't change anything anyway um nothing nothing majorly anyway if anything at all so that's that done so we've got finances here we, we currently are spending over spending on our budget on our wage budget but we can also have to a bit to get back at that back in line we've got 13.8.7 13 million pound call it 14 million pound spend on transfers because we do sell we get 100 million 100 million i wish we did 100 percent of the transfer fee back so that's interesting that's good a low bank balance we're not going to do much business in the January window in the summer window i don't think but again, leave it open for you guys to give your thoughts on it. So we're going to just get the players out of here who are not here. Um, just because it annoys me to see them on the screen. And it just makes it look more cluttered. So let's get these guys out of here um, into the B team. Now straight away, as you can see on the screen here, um, other than all the insane amount of data we have on here, is the injury to the lot of key players, especially in the wide areas. Chelsea's out for um, four weeks to two months. Angadin Rio is out for four to two four weeks to two months. Chiesa is out for three to five months. And Pogba is out for seven to eight months. So let's get him out of the first team picture altogether for now. Um, just because I don't, I don't want him in there when he's not going to be available for first team football. So we've got a decent squad. Obviously, striker-wise, we've got Dusan Vlahic, who I'm really excited to use. Uh, I'm sure he'll score lots of goals for us. I hope he does. Uh, we've got Milik as well as a backup option for that, which is, again, not a bad option. Um... He's got a very low optional fee. We could just buy him now if we wanted to. Um, I don't know if I'm going to, though. I don't, I don't, I don't want to pull trick on that quite yet. Though it looks like they might be doing it in IRL, so, if, again, reports can change. But I think having him, them two strikers nailed down could be a good idea. Uh, but, again, I leave your thoughts, leave your thoughts down below in the comments section. Uh, what do you think we should do with that? Uh, we've got Moise Keane, who um, is... Not a bad striker. He can play wide left and wide right as well. Not he's not a natural in all positions, but he can play that. I'm probably going to play him more on the left hand side because he's right, he's strong on his right foot. But left foot's not not, not, not terrible. Um, so options there on the wing, we can use him on, out there. I'm probably going to use him on the wing at the start of the save because obviously because the injuries we've got to Di Maria and Chiesa are going to create a problem with that. So we need to do that. One thing I'm going to do is probably renew Rabiot's contract um, pretty quickly. But I'll do it now. Otherwise, I'll forget. So, going to contract with agents. Very keen. Um, yeah, what's he? What's he currently on his contract? One hundred and fifty grand a week. Enter contract negotiations. Uh, I'm gonna take those out. Whether I can, I take, I take these out so that it's not a problem. So, okay, can we get like a small increase on his con on, on his deal? I don't want to pay what I don't want to pay what they're asking. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just worried about him walking out and then, you know, he won't sign a new contract. So that's renewed because Rabio is a good player. I like him a lot. I think he's, he, he fits that box, box low perfectly for us and he's got the pace and his time and his strength. So I like him. I want to keep him around, definitely. And then you're looking at, like, obviously you've got um, Bremer, who's a good centre back. The problem we're gonna have with this team is we've got Bonucci still in here, who I just, I like him a lot, but. I don't know about the pace. It could be a problem. But again, if we're playing a DM formation, we've got a shooting midfielder in there. That could help that situation out a bit. But I do want to play a higher line. So I'm probably not going to use him. I'm probably going to go with um, Rugani, honestly. Um, or... Yeah. I, 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 might, I might regret playing him, but I might 
use him. In, I don't know. I think if I'm going to sign anybody, it's probably going to be a centre back. Um, unless there's anyone in the new system, which is nice on this. So Kale George, of course, I'm bringing him to the first team. Uh, I want him in that. I want him. I want him in that first team because again, I'm going to use him. Um, maybe not every game, but I'm using him enough. Matthias Suli or Sole, again with the lack of wingers at the moment, could be an option to have in the first team for now. So I'll bring him forward to the first team. But obviously, if you guys get your thoughts, I think we should load him out. If you can give me, let me know in the comment section. Like I always say. Um, so let's have a quick look here. Let's go to reports and see what they recommend for anyone in this, in this area of the pitch. There's no one really amazing there. So we'll move on to the other 20s and see if there's anyone here. Still, we've got Yildaz here. Or Yildiz, who is um, very strong on his right foot. I think he's more of a winger. Lacking a bit of pace, though, um, which is disappointing. Uh, but I think we can make him a winger. I think we can make him a winger, definitely. Um, so I'm going to, again, put him in the first team for now. Pending you guys giving your thoughts down below in the comment section. And then after that, you've got people like Felix Correa, who's, again, hitting a lot of, hitting a lot of buttons for me because he's, he's more functional. Um, and then, again, it, the nature of the save kind of means with these guys are probably not that relevant. If it was a private save I was doing myself, these guys would be more relevant as the players I'm going to bring into the team, but probably not going to happen. The B team, again, a lot of players here who we could... Oh, wow. I forgot we got this guy. Ooh. Now then, why is he in the B team? He should be in the first team. Um, and again, I'm just, I'm definitely using the, 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 the default database, the 2.40 database. So that's a plus. I didn't realize he was there. We've got a youngster back here with Tommaso. Uh, again, he's probably good for a loan deal. I don't think we're going to use him in the first team right now. And then, go, you can go keep it here. So we've got good players here. Obviously, if we don't win transition in the first season, which I highly doubt we will, um, we've got players we can sell. Um, now, I don't really have a more plans over than win Champions League with this team. We could try and win everything with them. That's a possibility. I may decide to do that. It depends on how quick we win Champions League. Um uh, obviously I've done it before when we won it first season with Tottenham Motspur, spoiler alert. Um but I doubt I'll do it with this one because uh, I'm not great at this game. Um <laughs> simply put. Uh Mavella is a player I'm gonna be bring into the first next season for certain. Regardless what happens with him on loan. Can I bring him back? No, I thought not. Um so yeah we've got a good um, squad at the moment. It's about what we do with transfers. And we've got £13 million spent on players. I don't know what we could do really in the market. I mean, the, the obvious option is to buy a winger, but we don't need one. I think it'd be a young centre-back we can bring in and develop and we can bring in to play alongside Bremer. Uh, that would be something I would like to do. It's most likely what I will do if I find the right option. In fact, let's still look at this while we're, while, while we're started talking about it, about it. Let's see what they recommend. Uh, if anybody, if I just, right, so good he's at his job. Upcano. Can I say, you know, Garcia. Yeah, do you see the problem with these deals? I mean, Eric Garcia is actually sort of doable. Um, that's something that we could maybe try and do a deal for. Let's get full, let's get full knowledge on him. Upcano. I would love him, but I just don't think we can afford him. I don't think they're going to really want to do it. But again, we'll um, put him on a short list and do a scout report on him. I'm not going to rule him out completely, but I think that's less likely. I think the Garcia deal is the most likely option that we could go with. So let's look at the scout report again. Um, I mean, you've got this guy, um, Giorgio Scalavani, Scalavani, 18-year-old defender. That is, again, another possible deal I could I could definitely see myself doing. Just, I don't want to sign a player just to get through the first few months of a save. So, like, getting a winger in, it makes no sense. Unless it's a young talent that's, like, cheap-ish and we're going to bring him in. I don't want to do that unless we, unless it makes sense. So, this guy is actually a really possible transfer I could possibly do. Again, it depends on budget and finances. If we can get a deal done, I will do it. Um, but this could be difficult to do with the finances we've got right now. So it's going to be a case of scouting and thinking about it and basically doing negotiations and trying to be quite clever, which means it's probably not going to happen. Based on that, it's me. So, yeah, um, who else on the list? Uh, Senator back. Anybody else? Upper Carl's obviously there. 
Uh, Cup Miners is there, but not going to sign him. Don't need, a, don't need Don't we need one at the moment? Ibanez is a player that, yeah, he's good, but again, it's finances isn't it, in place. That's the problem. So, speaking of finances, what's our projection for our finances and our debt? So, we've got and, £200 million net debt and £62 million transfer debt. Our projection um, for next season's transfer budget um, is around £53 million. Uh, according to that, if I'm reading that correctly, um, you mean the, the the prediction is we get minimum guarantee is 14.12. So, but like I always, like I said earlier, we do have a lot of players in our B team who we can shift who we can shift um, potentially for a decent amount of money. If you go up here, look like you're looking at Kuzeski could go for 40 for, for a bit of money. Russell McKenney, Zakaria. Luca Pellegrini, players like that we could move on potentially. Arthur will probably move on as well. So as players we can move on and obviously if we get to football, that finances will obviously be boosted. You got a factor in the equation of course that like it's taking into account this it's taking into account these deals. So there's been eight million pounds in the summer. These have all been taken out of the budget already. Nine pounds also come in as well. So it 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 we've got we've just gotta see uh, what happens with everything. And I think I'm excited for this save. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm sure I'll get to stay at the game because the game is still not perfect and it's still got massive issues with it. But we'll see how we get on. So your thoughts down below, guys, in the comment section. Like I do say, I don't have a schedule for this series at all on my channel in general. Uh, it'll be when I record when I can and go for quality more than quantity. If I have a spare day where I can sit down and play this game, I'll, I'll record more. I would like it to be a daily series, but we'll see. I'm not going to sweat if I miss a day. I don't want to get into the situation again where, oh, in, in the situation sorry where I'm worried about the algorithm I just want to have fun and um, enjoy it so you may get days where it's, oh it's three in a row then miss two days that may happen I can't alter that my shift can, my shift can, change, my shift can change at work at a moment's notice but what I will try and do is if I've got like five episodes of code I know I'm working a lot next few days I'll schedule it every other day so that there is some kind of schedule for it but we'll see so, guys, if you've got any thoughts on what we should do with transfers or tactics or loans, signings, anything like that, let me know in the comment section. If you enjoyed the introduction, hit the like button. Feedback, always welcome. I am creating Discord again soon to get if we get that set up again. So, it's a fresh start of everything. Uh, but right now, I'm just chilling, watching an interview with David Furnish on Sky News. I'm recording this on the 22nd. So, it's going live on the 23rd. So, yeah, thanks for watching, folks. Hit the like button and subscribe. Also, to my second channel, which has got my non football manager related content, which is let you know, let's play like Star Wars Jedi Survivor. And I'll catch you guys all in the next episode next episode. Whenever that will be. And next episode will be a chance for summary. And we're gonna be playing against Roma. because uh, that's the opening game of the season. Uh, but if it's quite a short we might do two games. Depends how much we do off off, off camera. So until next time thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.